सेप्टेंबर पहालव क्वींस नंत स्रीलंका दिने
all being Sri Lankan. And can I too start by acknowledging the traditional owners on the land of which we gather and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Thank you, Jay, for your warm welcome, your invitation, but more importantly, making all the politicians feel so welcome and it's such an honour to join members of the Sri Lankan community that are here today to witness culture, performance, and in particular, the children who are the next generation of leaders for the Sri Lankan community here in Queensland. I'm gonna set my remarks to one minute because we have about 700 politicians to speak today, but I do wanna give a special thanks to Sarah Hutton and Jess Pugh, the local representatives for this part of Queensland that I proudly represent. And it's also wonderful to have David Christofoli back in the Western suburbs with Tegan today as well to Paul Scar, my federal parliamentary colleague, who I call really the senator for Oxley only. It's quality we need here, and it's always wonderful to be in an event with Paul Scar. Friends, to the organisation committee, thank you for what you've done. I have one very quick message to thank the Sri Lankan community here in the southwest suburbs of Brisbane and Queensland for your determination, for your drive, but also your economic productivity. So many local businesses here in Queensland have Sri Lankan origins, and we are so proud to have so many friends here today from the business community and all of our sponsors. Friends, have a wonderful day. Let's celebrate over 2,000 years of traditions, culture and performances right here in Sri Lanka Day. Have a great day, everyone. Order and my father here earlier today, um, and my dad was uh, taken back to his last visit to Sri Lanka, um, which he hasn't been able to do for over 10 years now, but he tells me that it's just the best country um, to go and visit for the food, the culture, and of course, um, for the fabulous people as well. Can I, of course, begin my remarks by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that we are meeting on today and acknowledge their young people, um, their leaders and um, the leaders that have gone before them and extend that respect out to all of the leaders and the elders who are here with us today. This is the fourth Sri Lanka Day Festival and as the local member I am so very proud of this event and how it has grown over the last four years and I just want to um, keep my remarks to um, confined to comment on a couple of fantastic to be here today because as Jess said this is really a true celebration of culture and I'm really passionate about the continuation of culture and as Milton said, it really is about the children and it's about these opportunities to bring people together so that we can continue to value the cultures that have made my community in Anala and of course Australia such a wonderful place to live. I'm very blessed that I have a large Sri Lankan community in, in Forest Lake and around within my electorate. And so they have always warmed me welcomely and I have had many great times with, with people from Sri Lanka. So I really do have quite a soft spot for this community and really enjoy celebrating. And, and um, as you can see, I, I really do enjoy celebrating the Sri Lankan way. And so I'm really looking forward to spending some more time with you here all. Committed to the wonderful economic development of our city and our nation. So thank you so much for what you have contributed to our country and may continue to grow from strength to strength.